This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the easiest way to create the website of your dreams. Tomodachi Life has a die-hard fan base, as you might have seen if you've watched literally any Nintendo Direct. The live chat is full of Tomodachi Life? Announce Tomodachi Life. If you don't announce Tomodachi Life, I will do something dangerous to myself and others. People rave about this weird little me-centric social simulation game. But me personally, I've never played it. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I feel like I've missed out on so many games. But I just never got to experience the joy of Tomodachi Life. Tomodachi Life lives on the 3DS and is a sequel to the Japanese exclusive game Tomodachi Collection. If you've ever played Miitopia, on either the 3DS or the Switch or even the now discontinued app Mitomo, you might be familiar with Tomodachi Life's concept a little. You follow Mii's through their everyday life, build friendships with other Mii's, and play mini games. It's an interesting game with a lot of interesting quirks. This is a somewhat difficult game to experience the true magic of in 2023, since it does have a lot of online play integration and, well, kids these days aren't necessarily carrying around their DS is hoping a street pass with somebody in the wild. So let's whip out our DSs and check out Tomodachi Life. Here sits a little island in the middle of the ocean. This place is all yours, it just needs a name. Let's go party island. The owner is gonna need her own me, duh. You know what? Let's try out the camera feature. There's no way this works, right? Yeah. No, guys, it obviously doesn't work at all. Okay, round two. Let's make sure we're nice and snatched looking. This one should be better. Never mind. It's slightly better, but none of these are really gonna cut it for me. Luckily, I know how to make a very cute and adorable me. She may not look a damn thing like me, but at least she's cute. Now we just get to fill in all the info about little Lissy here, like name, birthday, favorite color. We also have a ton of voice settings to play around with. I'm just gonna choose a preset one. And then we get to pick the details of our me's personality. Lissy is outgoing and a charmer. Damn right she is. The first building to be constructed is the Me apartment complex where Lissy gets to move into. She has a little thought bubble. Let's click on it. I'm hungry. Let's head to the food mart that was also conveniently just built and get some snacks. We have $50 to spend. What should we buy? Steak, girl. My girl loves steak and soda. Now we can give it to her and satisfy her little hunger need and also raise her happiness level. What's her problem now? It's a little lonely here on this island. If only I had some company. No worries. We can make another me. The game encourages us to make a me that resembles a friend or family member. But the wonderful thing about free will is that I can make Joe Biden in my game. Kawaii Joe Biden. Let's get Sleepy Joe all set up for success. I had to look Sleepy up his birthday Joe. and it was actually his birthday the same exact day I made him. Ooh, scary. What does that say about society? Joe's an easygoing dreamer and all moved in so Lissy's happiness went up. They seem to be getting along great too and are even friends. Joe's here to tell us the town hall is open. So now we get to create more islanders. Doing so will help us open up new buildings on the island. Who should I make into a me? I decided to go with Wendy Williams. God, I miss that woman. I made her from scratch. You know, I'm pretty proud. She's beautiful. Next up, we got Trisha Paytas, an outgoing charmer. And I gotta say... This is a pretty good starting roster. So now begins the majority of Tomodachi Life's gameplay. Our islanders occupy apartments and will periodically develop needs I'd that like we attend to. to. Sometimes they're hungry, so we gotta feed them and get to know what they like and go to the store and buy more food with the money we get from improving their happiness level. Sometimes they wanna play little mini games with you. Keeping your little guys fed will give you friendship points and money, so I like to maintain that as much as possible. I don't follow the latest trends. I said then. Yes, girl, you do. And you also do the hot topics. I, to ah, I love this. Me. Your what residents will also become interested in her. other me's that live okay. in the building. So you'll sometimes have a little bubble to help them socialize with each other more. As we take care of our me's, we're unlocking more buildings on the island. A piggy bank has been set up on the island near the fountain. Islanders donations can be used to make party island a better place. 
All donations gathered from the islanders are given straight to Party Island's owner. Okay, hell yeah. Give me more money. I love it. I will for sure be checking in on this. The fountain is a multi-purpose area as well. There will be special events like this one where we can buy pancakes. Rad. There's also little spots to visit as well, like the beach. It's empty at the moment, but sometimes me's will pop up here and hang out together. We also have unlocked a clothing shop. Oh, fun. We're totally gonna dress everybody up. This is great. I've always wanted to dress up me's. Oh my god, this outfit. I know what must be done. Everybody, please welcome Lois Griffin to the oh. island. That outfit was made for her. Like, come on. That's literally mother. She's also hungry. Here, Lois, have some chowder. She liked it and even gave me a gift. We can't neglect all of our other me's, though. Let's check in with Joe Biden. What's something you wish you could give up but just can't? I don't know, Joe. <sighs> Wasting money. Try getting a piggy bank and saving a certain amount each month. Thanks, Joe. Really appreciate the millennials and their damn avocado toast advice. Wendy's hungry. hungry, so we feed her, and Trisha wants to be friends with Wendy. Keep it brief, Trisha. She doesn't have all day. It went well. You know, I knew that they would get along. We also get a lot of money from dressing up our me's and friendship points, too, so I'll invest in some more clothing items. Joe's got the grandpa fit. I got a cute little outfit for Trisha, and her friendship was high enough to level up. I can give her either a song, a gift, a new interior, or a phrase. These are all very compelling choices, but I mean, it's Trisha Paytas. Why wouldn't I give her a song? News Flash. A concert hall has finally opened on Party Island. It comes in response to calls for a spot where Islanders can sing their hearts out. Islanders can perform their favorite songs they've received as presents from Lissy's look a lot. Everyone can get a taste of being a professional singer at the hall, which will even provide backup dancers. This, this is what I've been waiting for. Trisha's pop song comes with lyrics, so let's see what she's got. I love loving cats and song, pizza and fun. Yeah, yeah, you know that it's true, baby. Oh my, I love loving you. Love loving you. Especially your shoes. Let's keep our hearts open, baby, and love loving things. Wow, that was beautiful. I think we can do better. Trisha has a pretty stacked catalog of music that we could work with here. Let's go with a classic. I'll do my best with the lyrics. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. You gave me reason. You gave me hope. Jesus never let me go, Jesus. He was with me Turned off To God Always in my heart I love you, Jesus I love you, Jesus? <laughs> Shout out all the Jesuses out there That was amazing I want to level up all of my me's now So they can sing me beautiful songs I caught oh, Lois sleeping and accidentally entered her dream And she's turned into a magical girl Love that for you, Lois I've been inside of two of Lois's dreams, actually Another one with a hat We got to keep the hat after But why is she so sleepy? Joe and Lois have also gotten friendly Uh-oh Better watch out You can get married in Tomodachi life And have babies I don't know if I'm ready for all of that I think it's time for us to get some more me's in here Our next resident is none other than Timothy Chalamet. I think I fucking killed it creating him. That's literally Timothy 
see. We've unlocked quite a few buildings as well, mostly stores like the hat store, the interior store. We can buy different interiors for our Mii's apartments. I bought Timothy a cool guy interior. And another location for everyone to visit and chill at, the observatory tower. Sometimes Mii's will ask for a new hat, so you know, I'm at the hat store a lot. There's just more places to go now. We've also unlocked a bunch of buildings that have to do with spot pass and street pass. Now, there has been a huge effort to keep street pass alive by passionate community members. If you're not familiar, street pass is a feature of 3DSs where consoles within a certain proximity can exchange information, like me data, with each other. There's tons of avenues for those wanting to street pass at conventions or meetups still to this day, but I don't have an opportunity to do that for this video. This is a clean 3DS too with no previous street pass data, but I drove home to Arizona for Thanksgiving this year, so I brought my 3DS on a little road trip, hoping to street pass with anyone ever and no one. I didn't even get a single me friend out in the wild. <sighs> This game would be so sick if I had friends. As I pass the time in between unlocks, I'm able to play mini games with my residents using items that they've given me. Not sure if the swing one is a mini game though. I was pushing Trisha pretty hard and nothing really happened. So whatever. I did try the slide puzzle and realized that I don't know how to do a slide puzzle. I'm not kidding. I tried to solve it for like 10 minutes. I wouldn't last a fucking day on Survivor. Are you kidding me? Damn. Maybe I'm not a gamer, guys. Oh I definitely gave features. up and Don't will not be attempting the slide puzzle anytime soon. <laughs> There's also a fun mini game where I get to make Timothy Chalamet sneeze. A dream come true, really. And of course, when I unlocked his next level, I gave him a rap song to perform for us. Back years up, yeah, back years up. Make way for one back up. This beat so sick, it's corrupt. And let's go. And listen to me, mouth full of food, and it's super yummy. Living like a king, in a wide limousine, and street takes for all me. When you live in a dream, you know what I mean, please buy my new CD. Not only is Timothy a superstar rapper, but rap battles are sometimes held at the fountain, and they get down. You came to rap, but just wine, wine, wine. Your clothes are so goofy, they cross the line. Your wraps need fixing, so I brought my hammer. To pass my test, you need an all-night crammer. You're a little pop, and I'm best in breed. I'm the greatest rapper ever, for sure, indeed. My victory party started, wanna be my guest? A thesaurus is a thing in which you should invest. Sound like an alarm clock. Free, free. You set off the bad rapper alarm. Beep, beep. My raps are so fast you'll want to press rewind. I teach you some rhymes, but I'm not that kind. You missed the boat. Best catch the next flight. I give up. You win. But this is essentially the essence of Tomodachi life. Take care of your Mii's and unlock more buildings and of course, the online play of it all. I'm getting kind of bored with my Mii's and all their wants and needs, so naturally, I think it's time that we make some more. This time I went to a website where you can download Mii's that other people make and using the QR code scanner, I'm able to add them to my game. Let me get a Peter Griffin for my girl Lois and Bellsprout, the Pokemon. Fuck it. <laughs> Damn, that looks pretty good. Lastly, I'm Scannon and Walter White and Lana Del Rey. And that puts us at 10 total residents. Newsflash. The population on Party Island has reached 10. To celebrate the occasion, a lively party was held in the island's hotel lobby. Islander Wendy said with a smile, this island is starting to feel a little less lonely. Thanks for watching. Our apartment building is looking a lot more full. We have more Mii's to feed and take care of, gotta buy more clothes for them, of course, and change up their interiors. The more we do that, the more we unlock, like an official news station, Kimchi Rock, a rock sort of shaped like kimchi. It is one of the most famous locations on Party Island. And we're unlocking more things to do at certain locations, like a mini game we can play with our Mii's at the observation tower called Quirky Questions. Who is afraid of pickle? Wow, 
Those are some really quirky questions. There's a lot more places to build on the island, but we have a little bit of progression to get through before we can do so. We're starting to play more mini games, like this god awful catching one. Just look at this bullshit. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna drop it when I least expect it? I hate you, Peter Griffin. There's more ways to interact with your me being introduced every time I talk to them. It's not just a game of feeding and clothing me's. I can see why people adore Tomodachi life. It is just so charming. Oh great, I got the catch game again. God damn it. This is hard. Great, Lana wants to do it too. Here's my chance. I give up. Here's your catchphrase. Now get out of my face. So I know that you can get married in this game, but I don't think I figured out how to get there yet. I'm slowly working on establishing relationships and I'm trying to figure out how to control what relationships get established. A huge controversy surrounding this game is that you can't get gay married, only straight married. That just lowers my options for matches. I guess we're just gonna have to roll with it. I was stumped until Lissy approached me with a matchmaking proposition. I think Sleepy Joe needs a sweetheart. How about setting him up with Trish? Then I'll have to get them together somehow. Now, I'll admit, I thought this was a strange match, but we'll see how it goes. They seem to be having a fine time, not like a spectacular one or anything, and yeah, you know, they're just gonna be friends for now. Damn. I did figure out that there is a greater purpose to gifting me's items. If you gift me's the same item, they're more likely to hang out or something, or it ups their compatibility. So I'll try to keep track of who I'm gifting and what I'm gifting them to see if we can get the ball rolling on romance here. Walter didn't like his jail cell interior. You know, I thought it would be funny, but whatever. I stumbled upon another one of Lois's dreams and it kind of seemed like she was having a moment with Sleepy Joe. I mean, I was hoping to match her with Peter, of course, but maybe the universe has other plans. But the dream doesn't mean anything, I don't think. Not yet, anyways. I gave her a baseball bat, so I gotta remember that when another boy levels up to see if I can also give him a baseball bat and, you know, maybe they'll canoodle. There's gotta be something more to the personality chart here in terms of relationships. I was trying to figure it out when it happened. I got a pink heart bubble on Bellsprout's apartment. Who could Bellsprout be crushing on? I have feelings for Lois. I've got to tell her. No way! I really didn't expect that. Okay, but, you know, I'm let's ready. do it, Bellsprout. Go tell her how you really feel. The suspense. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. Will you be my beautiful mermaid? Sure. Wow, that was romantic. Bellsprout's happy, at least. Our first crush unlocked the compatibility tester, where we can predict our me's compatibilities with each other. Damn, not looking too good. We can also check their compatibility forecast. I'm not gonna look too much into it though. We just need to get them married. We've also unlocked a ton of other places on Party Island by now, like the cafe, amusement park, and pawn shop. We can sell our treasures there if we're ever strapped for cash. The coffee shop is a little mingle location, the park, the amusement park too. But also, various events will be held at these places at certain times, of course. Not only have we unlocked buildings, but features like the girl charm ranking. Damn, Anna's not looking so hot. There's also popularity rankings and boy charm rankings, and the ability to form musical groups on the island. As long as islanders have the music of a certain genre, you can form groups with them. Let's do a metal group with Lissy, Bellsprout, and Trisha Paytas. I love it. While we wait to see any developments happening with Lois and Bellsprout, we can take care of our other islanders by feeding them, clothing them, giving them stuff, leveling them up, etc. We're starting to unlock more mini games as well, but I'm proud to say that I did finally win a catch game. Thank God. That was gonna be a huge hit to my ego. I didn't win the second time it came around, but 
Whatever, I got one. We've got football too, which I think I've heard is a sumo wrestling game in other regions. Americans, we love our football. Of course, we still have tickling. The Zoom quiz is stupid rigged. How am I supposed to just know what all these items are? And the shadow quiz is fine until you get to the food on a plate. Then there's no way to know, unless maybe there's different plate sizes and you're into memorizing. But I do love the matching game, I will say. And mini games are cool because they give you treasure prizes, which you can sell at the pawn shop for money in case you need it, but relationships are blossoming. Sleepy Joe introduced Timothy and Trisha and even set them up on a date. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you too. Yeah, it didn't seem like it went super well. I decided to start giving everybody we used because I was forgetting who had what gifts and didn't really want to get into that much of matchmaking. So everybody gets a Wii U and hopefully they all get along with each other more because of my efforts. There's also gifts called travel tickets. They, however, are few and far between. If you give a me a travel ticket, they'll take someone on a destination vacation. You can't pick who they go with, however, so you can just hope they pick Pick a romantic interest. I'm Timothy picked Bellsprout, which sucks because you can't even be gay in this game. So that was a total waste. Now I get to just hope I get more travel tickets. I have feelings for Timmy. I've got to tell him. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. I didn't think there would be any chemistry here. Let's do it, girl. Do you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend? Sure. It went well, that's amazing. Now we have some new potential lovers. What do you think about me and Bellsprout? Great Is match, Lois. Well, I hope we can become even closer. Yes, please do that. And here, take a Wii U. We've unlocked almost every building by now. We just have a few left. I'm enjoying spending time in Tomodachi life. The Mies are cute and it's fun to check in every Thank once you. in a while. There's not really a ton of waiting for something to happen either. Your Mies will pop up with bubbles every few Thank minutes. You. And there's events going on at different times on the island, so, you know, there's always something. I've been playing about a week, and there's still some stuff to unlock, like the photo studio. That took me a while. By far the coolest minigame in Tomodachi Life has to be Tomodachi Quest. You can only play once a day at the amusement park, but it becomes available at two different time intervals. It's a little 8-bit RPG where your Mies will fight little bosses. It's so freaking cute! Each Mii is assigned a class depending on their personality, and and if you defeat a few bosses, you get a treasure. It took me about five minutes to do my first go around. It was a nice little break, you know, from me caretaking and something to totally look forward to. Trish is helping us set up Lissy and Sleepy Joe. I had the best time today. Me too. Let's hang out again soon. Thank God, finally, some real chemistry. But so far, no marriage proposals. I'm working on leveling everybody up and aiming to receive travel tickets, but nothing yet. Trisha wants to go on a romantic vacation with Timmy, but I don't have any tickets. Eventually, Lois had a pink heart bubble. Please, please get married. I want to propose to Bell's Sprout. Do you think I should? Yes, <gasps> yes! Oh, let's get this set up. The proposal does involve a mini game. It's not left totally up to chance. We have to tap when the other me is thinking about the proposer. If we tap at the wrong time, it can get a little awkward and you only get so many tries. My I heard that Timmy was here just the other day. My love, will you marry me? Of course, this is the best day ever. Yay! They're so cute together! Bellsprout and Lois forever! Sorry, Peter. He doesn't seem too bothered. I don't think they ever actually even interacted, so. Now they get to go on a fun little Hawaiian honeymoon, and they even got me a gift. And now that we've got our first married couple, we've unlocked me homes. But before I could even get to that, Peter wants to spark something with Lissy. I'm the perfect match for you. You should totally be my girlfriend. <gasps> oh no, how embarrassing is that? Now Peter's sad. There's a sadness meter in everything. He wants to try again. I don't think it's a great idea, but we're gonna go for it anyways. I'm going to. She didn't even show up. 
Wow, damn, that's harsh. But hey, that's because Sleepy Joe and Lissy are together, and now Sleepy Joe is gonna way, propose. Darling, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, yes, of course I will. Another wedding. It's all moving so quick. Can't believe my me is marrying Sleepy Joe. Peter seems to be doing okay. They honeymoon in France, and now we get to move into a house. Married couples will live in houses together, but still keep their apartments. So when you check in with them, they're warped back to their little apartment to care for them as usual. Your me's can get divorced. They can have babies. There's still a ton to do, but it takes some time, and I'd rather not just time travel through it. I'm planning on playing Miitopia at a later date, so I'll give you an update on how everyone's doing then. There's just something so beautiful about this game. I'm a Tomodachi girl. I love interacting with Miis this way. I've always been a fan of Miis and they're very nostalgic for me. I'm curious to know of everything that I might have missed out on. What are some of the features in Tomodachi life that I maybe didn't get the full experience of? Whether that be because of the lack of online play or because maybe I just missed things. I did very much enjoy the game. I think that the game is definitely still worth checking in on and I would love to have seen this be on the Switch. I don't know if it ever will be, but hey, we'll see about a Switch 2 someday. In a future video, I would love to check on Miitopia. Miitopia was on 3DS and there is a Switch release, so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think about those games as well. But hey, if you're interested, I started to do little blurbs on my website, listthelast.com, all about my video making process in sort of like a little blog form, a little blog mode. If you're thinking, wow, she has a super cute and super cool website. I want one of those. Well, you are in luck. Today's sponsor, Squarespace, has everything that you could need to get started on a beautiful and professional website. They have tons of different templates and template categories to help you get started. They have tons of templates for restaurant owners, bloggers, merchants, influencers, artists. There's so many options to choose from, and it's really easy to customize your website to anything that you need it to be. Creating a website may seem complicated, but I promise you, Squarespace makes it so super Super simple. All of the tools that you might need to edit the font, the colors, anything, embed links, put in videos, all of that, Squarespace has you covered. It's perfect for anybody who might be on either end of the spectrum, not very tech savvy or very tech savvy. It's just very user friendly. I also encourage anybody who sells product online or is looking to do so to check out Squarespace's e-commerce tools. Squarespace works with many well-known third-party extensions to help you better manage your business as well as detailed analytics so you can check how your products and posts are doing. For those selling services, you can make appointments directly through Squarespace or send your clients invoices. They just have it all. If you're in need of a website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you've picked out your template and you are ready to launch it, go to squarespace.com slash list the last and use my code list the last to save 10% off of your very first purchase of a website or domain. I wanted to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and always being so amazing. And I also wanted to give a very big thank you to you. Thank you so much for watching my videos and liking them. If you ever have any suggestions for things that you would like to see, please feel free to let me know. I also have started a second channel. If you would like to see any more casual gaming content, things that aren't as structured as stuff I've been doing over here, that is the place to do it. So check out my second channel, Lispild. But yeah, it means a lot. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to do gifts for people. I'm trying real hard not to do that this year. Forget. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.